Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Ty Grine. Uh, I'm nine months into my PhD journey here in the Chemie Business School, and I'm here today to discuss a topic which is close to all of us. Healthcare. Slide, please. 96 new facilities, 3,000 new staff, and 240 million euro invested. Yes, has anything really changed within Irish healthcare? Well, we are in fact in the midst of a seismic shift. The way in which healthcare is imagined and has subsequently been delivered in recent times has changed drastically. Yet for many, such inferences of change will be greeted with an air of bewilderment and confusion as the fractured state of Irish healthcare remains as topical and prominent as it's ever been. In May 2017, the Committee on the Future of Healthcare in Ireland delivered its final report, titled Schlantcare. The report provided a detailed vision for the future of healthcare in Ireland, and amongst its key recommendations was the removal of our two-tier healthcare delivery system, signaling a move towards a more integrative, collaborative approach to healthcare delivery. Core to this was the implementation rollout of community healthcare networks that would provide a foundation and an organizational structure to provide integrated care at a local level. So, this begs the question, how can I, a PhD student here in the Chemie Business School, provide insights to the HSC on the provision of patient-centered care? Well, in essence, my research seeks to understand the barriers, enablers, and opportunities for the HSC in adopting a multi-stakeholder perspective. To date, the management and organizational principles have been largely ignored. So to this end, I've enrolled actor network theory as an underpinning theory to understand how CHNs have been operationalized. So far, my research has yielded a publication and a systematic review, which has unearthed 2,533 articles, which highlight the power and influence of non-human actors within healthcare networks. For too long now, the failure to understand the role and influence of these inanimate components, such as that of transport, which has already emerged from my research, has impeded the way in which healthcare is delivered right across our nation. However, actor network theory provides us with a lens that will offer due consideration to the wide array of actors within community healthcare networks, whether it be a biro, a building, a patient, a practitioner, or even the door through which they enter. Understanding how each of these intricate components influences the delivery of care under the Slanted Care proposal will not only contribute to policy, but also aid the delivery of the right care in the right place at the right time. Thank you all so much.